Do you know the last four days, five days, it's been really, really nice. Mm. And people have been uh, taking out their clothes that they got in pennies last week and wearing summer clothes for the first time ever. But according to Melanie, there are some people who should look twice in the mirror before getting All right, dressed. Let's have a listen to uh, Melanie's WhatsApp that she sent us yesterday. And you can send us a WhatsApp at any time, night or day, to 85 825 Let's have a listen to Melanie. Oh, hey, guys. Um, I'm just listening to your live broadcast here now, and I'm actually wondering if you could bring up something on your show um, one of the days, maybe, if you have a chance to. It's I'm just back from the beach. I was um, down mm-hmm. in Sandy Mount, and I've noticed, like, the amount of overweight women who wear such inappropriate um, clothing, as in hot pants, belly tops, these little string sports tops that come up around the, bre- the boobs, um, like a little, uh, like a sports bra, you know, and I'm kind of like, I'm a personal trainer, so I'm very um, body aware. I'm very health orientated. Um, so obviously I would notice these things. And I'm just kind of like, you know, would, would nobody tell these girls before they go out, like, what you're wearing isn't appropriate. It doesn't look good. I mean, do these women look in the mirror and think, oh, I look really sexy in that? Because, and I don't want to sound harsh, but if if you want to look nice, you have to work hard. It does take hard work to maintain a very, very healthy body and a very healthy body image. Um, and I mean, these women are going around and you can see stretch marks and cellulite. And I mean, you can see people looking at them, heads turning on the beach. And it's not for the right reasons. It, people are looking at them the same way I was looking at them thinking, you know, do you not realize that you do not look good in what you are wearing it is not appropriate there are clothes that are made for a curvier woman and there are clothes that are designed for a a slimmer woman and i mean i just don't understand what these women are thinking when they go out like that and i don't want to sound harsh but i'm like girls it doesn't suit you you know what i mean i don't know what you think you're going out like but maybe it sounds really mean i don't know but it's just something i wonder i'm just i can't get my head around do these women actually think that they look attractive in what they're wearing when they go out when they go out on sunny days in these tight short skimpy clothes i just i just don't get it (laughs) <laughs> text message straight away Melanie I'm needs, speechless the text message straight away Melanie needs to get her jabs <laughs> <laughs> okay when that first came in uh, yesterday we were like whoa 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 whoa, 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 whoa. whoa was right. calm down there calm down there but what <laughs> she's saying she's probably okay she's been very mean okay mm. but she's probably saying what a lot of you feel and you know we can be all politically correct about this and say oh you know everybody should be able to wear whatever they want but i can guarantee you every single person watching and listening right now at some stage mm. you're and if you're if you say otherwise you're lying okay so don't even try and claim it um everybody at some stage in their life has looked at someone else and maybe a man or a woman could be a man on the beach in hollies with a big fat belly hanging out adrian um no matter who it is you have looked at them at some stage and gone, they shouldn't be wearing that or they should probably cover up. All right, well, uh, that lady who sent that message uh, yesterday after much persuasion has uh, agreed to join us on Opinions Matter uh, today. Before uh, before she comes on, yeah, by the way, on, yeah, before yeah, yeah. She, we just want to... Li- and, you know, I, had to co- I spent 20 minutes coaxing her into coming on, but just to let her know what she's up for, um, there's anger coming in already, <laughs> like people like Deborah. Have a listen to okay, this. Okay, let's have a listen to uh, this WhatsApp uh, voice note from Deborah. Oh my God, who does she think she is talking like that? People have their own opinions and can wear what they want. If they have stretch marks, so what? Life has to go on. We're living in a hard times. It doesn't matter. And just because you are a fitness instructor or whatever you are, you don't comment on people like that. Thanks, Deborah. Thanks, I did Deborah. warn her, by the way, before she came on, that that's the reaction that she was... Or maybe people will agree with her, because I think if we're, if we're to be honest with ourselves, a lot of people probably do agree with her. 085-825-2626 is our number. You can see it on the uh, screen above our heads. 085-825-2626. And as I said, uh, the lady's name is Melanie, and she joins me on the line. Melanie, what made you send that message? Well, as I said, I was out on the beach and I just, you know, I noticed, I mean, you can't not notice, like, I mean, let's be honest, whichever one of you said a few minutes ago, you know, if if you haven't looked at someone and thought they should not be wearing that, you are lying. And that woman who sent that voice message in there a few minutes ago, like, 
I would say she's probably lying too. I don't believe she has never been out on a sunny day and has seen an extremely overweight woman wearing something that she shouldn't be wearing that's not appropriate for her body size. I okay, but, uh, but, but is, is it any of our business to be commenting on what somebody wears? No, like, I mean, it's not my business if a size 20 wants to go out in something that's really designed for somebody who's a size 10. But at the same time, you know, you do turn your head and you do kind of say, oh, my God, do you not realize how you look? If I was going out like that, I would expect one of my friends or a family member or something to tell me, Melanie, you don't look good in that. That's not appropriate. Yeah, but OK, but these these particular women that you've uh, seen um, obviously feel happy in their own skin. They, uh, you know, they're confident going out into the world. They don't need don't judgment believe, from people I don't like you. I that anybody who is that size, I think sometimes maybe they don't realise how they look genuinely because, I mean, I work in a gym. I'm a personal trainer. I've studied nutrition, fitness. I I, I know all this. I mean, I don't believe that these women generally go out thinking, I think in their head, they think they look good. But, I mean, if they saw, I think what I see or what most other people see, I don't think they dress like that. I genuinely don't. I don't think anybody... See, again, I'll, I'll come back to the point that I just made. Um, it is one thing to look and have an opinion in your own head, yeah? It's a completely different matter to send a WhatsApp like you sent a minute ago uh, telling these women to cover up and uh, oh, well, hang dress on. Sorry, that's where, I have to, that's where I have to defend Melanie. So in what, what, what way? Because what you're saying is it's okay to have that opinion, but keep that opinion to yourself. Yeah, basically. Yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. no, no, basically. Keep your, your opinion to yourself. Is. Keep your opinion to yourself. Sure, hang on a second. You invited her onto the show. You wouldn't have a show if people didn't have opinions. I, 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 the show's I know called that. Opinions Matter. The show's called Opinions Matter. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. So what you're is opinions matter once uh, they're, they're not offensive opinions no I'm able to they're... argue with opinions the fact of the matter is that if you have an opinion like this you should do your best to keep that opinion to yourself that's all I'm trying to say um, I, I don't believe it is fair to be um, downing people just because of what they're wearing is she there? Is Melanie there? Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm yeah, here. Yeah, is. sorry. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm not downing anyone in particular. I'm downing a, a, a group of people. I mean, this isn't a person and an insult on anyone. This is just me, you know, noticing something. I mean, if I was going out and I was overweight, I would ask somebody before I go out, does this look appropriate? Does it? I mean, well, you know, like, yeah. no, she that's is, you. That's she, you. No, no, she's right, Adrian. Most women, I'm sure your wife has done it uh, on a night out, Adrian, when she's dressed up and you're going on a night out, yeah? Yeah. I'm sure she has turned around to you and says, do I look okay in this? Does my bum look big in this? The famous sign. Has she ever said that to you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, she has. So what's the difference? Why is she asking you that my, question? My thing here is I'm not trying to be harsh or hurtful or anything like that. I'm genuinely wondering. Jeez, I'd hate to hear you if you were being hurtful. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but I'd be honest. To, I'm not trying to personally offend anyone. I'm just wondering, do the size 20, um, size 18, 20, who are going out in clothes designed for a smaller lady, do they realise that it doesn't look good in them? And I know that sounds harsh, but it's... <sighs> It is what it is. And don't tell me neither of you have noticed it when you're out, because you're lying if you say you haven't. Okay, just stay there for a second. I want to play uh, some WhatsApp voice notes that are coming into us on 085-825-2626. If you want to get involved in this conversation, send us a WhatsApp voice note right now. 085-825-2626. This is Jake. I don't even know how you are sitting there entertaining that woman shaming overweight people about what they wear on the beach um, it's a bit mad that he's actually sitting there entertaining that and playing that message for her and giving her um, giving her the light on your show like it's it's a bit mad to be fair My yeah, God. yeah but mad the, to be fair look at the name of the show opinions matter do you only want to hear opinions that you agree with that's not the world we live in anymore snowflake uh, we live in a world where uh, all, but well not all opinions matter, obviously, but different opinions matter. You know, she's not saying that overweight people should be, uh, you know, dragged into a into a gym by the scruff of the neck and put on a treadmill, forcibly made run for an hour. That's not what she's saying. What she's simply saying is that some people um, should dress appropriately to, to their okay, size. Okay, well, let, let me just read one message, uh, Melanie, that's just come into us, and it says, and it, it's very simple, fat shaming is not okay. Simple. <laughs> 
Fat shaming oh is God, not this okay. Is not fat shaming. This is not fat shaming. If you want to be and you're happy being overweight. Now, I genuinely don't believe anybody is overweight and is truly happy, but that's my opinion. That's a separate issue. If you are overweight and you are happy, you know, in your skin and you're confident, then fair play to you. That's great. But I mean, you don't need to show it to the world. You know, um, cellulite, uh, varicose veins, stretch marks, they're not sexy. There's a Here, by the way, by the not- way, by the way, Melanie, you will probably get uh, cellulite as well in varicose veins when you're older. I mean, I don't know what age you are. Maybe you're in your 20s now, but uh, cellulite is something that a lot of women yeah, no matter. Uh, exactly. some, of, some of the fittest women I know who spend their life in the gym Absolutely, still have cellulite. cellulite. Everyone has it, but it is more apparent on people who are more overweight. All right, stay there for a second, Melanie. Let's play this WhatsApp voice note that came in from uh, Eddie. I doubt they think they look attractive. It's not like they put on these skimpy clothes and look in the mirror and go, God, I'm rocking it today. They're probably just comfortable in their own skin. Maybe that's the case. Comfortable in their own skin. That's, oh, kind, eight, that's five, kind of patronising as well. You can be covered up, in fairness. You can be comfortable and be covered up. That's kind of patronising what Eddie is it's, saying, it, though. But it's also not just kind of patronising. It's completely patronising what she just said. Listen to what she just said. Cover it up. That yeah, is, if ever I heard fat it, shaming, it, and you say you're not uh, into fat shaming, if ever I heard fat shaming, that's it. There are maxi dresses, okay? Maxi dresses are great. You know, they're nice. Got to Google what that is. Well, hang on a sec there. Slow down. We I know a, a maxi dress goes all the way down to your ankles. How did you possibly know that? Because I know what a maxi dress is. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, Never yeah. knew that was a maxi dress. Here, I want to play some more messages. Uh, this is uh, Claire, who is angry. If it's really affecting you, personal trainer, then that's probably a problem with you, not anyone else. Get on with your own life. Ignore the rest. Yeah. This isn't affecting me. I'm not affected by this. Well, this it, it affected you enough that yesterday you felt the need to send us a message yes, about because it. because I'm just baffled by it. I don't go home at night and get upset about it, thinking like, oh my God, why are fat people wearing skimpy clothes? It's disgusting. And sorry, Adrian, I, you're, sorry, hang on a second. Adrian, your last words yesterday on the, on the show was, if you see something that, uh, in public that you want us to talk about, please contact us. And that's exactly why. That is literally why I sent the message in when I heard that. I was like, oh, well, actually, <laughs> on that note. Okay, I have more messages to play. Uh, this is from Claire, who's not at all happy with what you're saying. If it's really affecting you, personal trainer, then that's probably. Oh, sorry, we played that, you. didn't we? Yeah, we did. Okay, sorry, Nicola. There's a difference in having opinions and just being judgmental. You know, what does she expect for people that have stretch marks just to cover up for the rest of their lives? I'm not talking about people's stretch marks. Let me clarify that. This mm-hmm. is not about people who have stretch marks. I have stretch marks, okay? It's not about that. It's about people who are wearing clothes that, like, is is way too tight, way too revealing when there's, like, crevices hanging out. And I don't mean that to sound bad, but that's the only way I can possibly word it. This. Mm. Okay, I have a few more messages to play. I have a few more messages to play for you. Uh, This is from Siobhan. I've definitely seen young girls with really, really short skirts and they are big girls and you can nearly see their bums. And they totally know. I think it's just the only way they can get attention. Makes them feel good. That's what I think. (sighs) Yeah, well, I'll be honest. I was in, I mentioned this the other day. I was in Derry the other day. And myself and my wife were sitting down having uh, a bite to eat outdoors, dining up in uh, Derry. And a young girl, exactly like that lady you just described, walked right past us. And my wife actually said, oh, my God, if that was my daughter. So she shamed? No, she just said it to me. She didn't go over and say it to the girl. No. She didn't ring I don't a talk even, I don't think even. I don't her. think even Melanie would, would go up to one of these. Well, she wouldn't because she'd get their head kicked in. No. I don't think Melanie would even go up and say, but your wife has did exactly what Melanie has she, done. She didn't because she didn't speak publicly about it. It was a private conversation. Ah, so if you keep opinions just keep to one the, or two people. On, on something like this, yeah. Keep see, your opinion to yourself. Everything is so politically correct now. You literally can't say anything and you're shaming someone. What about skinny shaming? What, do you know what I mean? If, if someone came up to me and said, oh, you're so slim, which people do all the time because I'm a trainer, should I say, oh, well, you're skinny shaming me? No, I don't. I, I don't because they're noticing and what were, is were a you, fact. Were you, you ever really overweight? There. Were you ever overweight? 
Um, you know, when I was like 13, 14 in that kind of puppy fat kind of stage, but as soon as I kind of got to 15, 16 and I started working out, I was watching what I eat. Then I've, since then, I've always been very, very, very health conscious. Okay, so just to get a handle on where you're coming from, uh, because people are just hearing the anger from you and the, and the shaming, you don't have a problem with someone being overweight. It's no. it's when they wear clothes that aren't... And I mean, that yeah. is a fair point, Adrian. If they want... If, if, if a size 12 girl, yeah... Mm. Was supposed to wear a size twelve, or it was supposed to wear a size eight clothes. They wouldn't come in size twelves. Clothes come in different sizes. Why do? Why can you get a dre- a skirt in a size sixteen? Why? Why does that exist? Because some people are size sixteen. Yeah, so they should wear the clothes that that fit them. You get the point she's making, Adrian, and don't play don't play the Egypt here. Right. I don't have a problem with people who are overweight. I work with people. My job is based around people who are overweight who want to lose weight. I'm every day working with people who come in, and they're people of all different shapes and sizes, all right. and uh, I don't have a problem okay, with that. Okay, stay, stay there for a second, Melanie, because as a trainer, you wouldn't be in business if there weren't uh, people who yeah. needed to lose weight. Debbie sent us this WhatsApp voice Clothes note. Clothes are designed for a skinny woman. Why are they made in big for people that are overweight? It doesn't matter. Thanks again, Deborah. Okay. Um, I have another one to play. This is another uh, Debbie. Here we go. Hey, guys. I don't agree with the way that lady is presenting herself um, because I believe it's down to each individual to look after their own health and there's nothing we can do about other people's health. So I would never judge somebody based on what they're wearing or their body shape or their body type. But I can relate to what she was saying about it's hard to look after yourself and maintain a healthy weight and, you know, generally look fit. I'm small, petite myself. I go to the gym. I live a healthy lifestyle. I eat well. And it is hard. It is hard to look good and to maintain a healthy diet and everything else. So it is hard work. You don't get there an easy way. Um, but I would never judge somebody else because you never know why they're obese. Um, you never know what they're going through. So. Mm, okay. Oh, so wait, five, eight, two, five, twenty six, twenty six. about what they're wearing. Sorry, say that again, please. I'm not talking about what they're going through or what they're, why they're overweight. I'm talking about the clothes they choose to wear, not about why they are the way they are. I don't think people are getting that. I think people think that I have a problem with overweight people. I don't. I just don't understand why they feel that it's okay. Okay, well, stay, stay there for a second clothes. while I play uh, another WhatsApp. This is from Sinead, who's very angry. I'm sorry, Melanie, but I have seen constant skinny people out there with the exact same thing. Short skirts, really short crop tops, things hanging out the whole lot. They've cellulite, they've stretch marks, they've the whole lot. It is not just, um, as you call them, fat people. If they're confident, is that not a great thing? If they're confident in their own skin, you're meant to be a personal trainer. You're meant to be bringing out the best in people. To me, you're obviously not the best personal trainer. Who, if they're overweight, would want to go to you as a personal trainer? I'm sorry if that sounds really harsh of me, but being overweight, who would want to go to you? Um, to be, You obviously would make them feel terrible, and I don't mean to be getting at you, but that is, the way you're going on about it is it's not just fat people it's different people would you not want people just to be confident i am so shocked genuinely by the anger that's coming in because come on, yeah, I'm come not on saying, now come on no, you can't possibly be shocked i'm not i'm not saying anything that most people don't think when they see an extremely overweight woman wearing extremely skimpy clothing i'm not saying anything that's out of the norm or bizarre here i'm saying something that we all think and i'd imagine most of the people who are you know, sending in these voice messages, getting annoyed, are probably overweight. Well, that's, that's, me, that's my it, opinion. It, okay, let me bring in um, another uh, caller on this. Is it... Um, Sinead. Sinead. Hello, Sinead. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you, Sinead. Uh, what did you want to say on this? I think that I I just... I, to be honest, I'm a little bit flabbergasted by Melanie and her opinion. She is... She says that she's a personal trainer. She's there meant to be bringing out the best of people. I have been overweight. I've been skinny. She's saying the people sending in the opinions are all extremely overweight. Not true. Um, she like I'm just shocked that she's so she's she is fat shaming. 
she's there saying, oh, you should be wearing maxi dresses. You should be wearing, I'm actually sitting here in a maxi dress right now. I nearly fell off my chair laughing when she said it. It's, she is literally fat shaming. It's, I, don't, I think she's trying to promote herself, but she's doing well, it in all the wrong ways. If I was fat shaming, I would be telling people who are overweight to lose weight. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just You're telling, telling them, them to cover up, Melanie. You're t- I'm sorry, and I really don't, I don't want to be found in harsh, or I don't want to be, not be kind, and not be all this, that, and the other, but you're being exceptionally, exceptionally unkind. Can you, you need to listen back to yourself, I don't and listen think back to what you're saying. And not Melanie, I, hang I, I on, get back were, for if a you were second. Walking, if you were walking down Grafton Street, and this really extremely overweight woman walked by, with her bum nearly showing, her stomach hanging out over the edge of her trousers, her her back all crunched into a, a, a skimpy little sports bra. I don't believe... Oh, that Melanie, you believe them for do you not second. understand? I don't believe you wouldn't... Do you not understand? Do you not understand? Do you not Oh, my it, God, why is she wearing that? That does not suit her body type. We all have different body but types. You know, can, I can I ask you... Sinead, Sinead, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Have you ever yeah. looked at somebody... And gone. Oh my God! Why did she go out wearing that? Be honest. But or a but bloke, this, by no, the way. This, this, is this isn't just point. about women. Yeah. Oh no. This and this is my point exactly. And Melanie's talking about women here exactly. And Melanie's talking about fat women. And I am going to be completely and utterly one hundred percent honest with you. I have looked at people, and I have said, I have said, no, I haven't said. Oh, okay. I probably said it to, if there was a friend beside me or my daughter. I said, oh, and not out and because I, I don't believe in being unkind to people, but I've probably said it to a close friend beside me. Oh, well, then you've I've done exactly no, said it to I myself. I'm then, but, 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 then but no, hold on, Melanie, you're I gave hypocrite. you a second, so can you give me... No, hang on, hang on, can you give me one second, because I gave you the second when you asked me. I haven't looked at a fat person and said it. It is not just as you are saying... It, 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 hang women. on for one second, you said you it haven't looked at an overweight person and said people. it. Hang on for one second, Sinead. It has been... It has also been... It has more often been skinny people as well, okay, and not so just okay, young people. It's been everybody. It, 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 it sorry, be, go, it's not hang on for one second, Sh- Sinead. I, mean, I have more stuff, I'm sure, and I look awful in it too. It's just it doesn't matter what people wear or how they look. But and again, again, Sinead, Sinead, my question different. to you was: Do you ever look at somebody in uh, any clothing and gone, regardless of whether they're fat or skinny or tall or short, that just doesn't suit them? Have so you? Why do we do it? Because we're all. Different. It doesn't give us the right to comment on it. But you just admitted and to make we do it. Deal. But like Melanie's thing is, she's saying it's about fat women and fat people. It's everyone is different. Like it's not just fat people. It's it's skinny people. It's, do you get me? It's not just. She is this thing about fat people and they should wear maxi dresses and they should cover up. This is what she keeps saying. All and right, but look at the uh, personal trainer. Yeah, she's a personal this trainer. Yeah, I heard that. Reactions, bit. Yeah, that's you know? that's the new that's the new drinking game for the weekend. Every time Melanie says I'm a personal trainer, you take a drink. <laughs> All right, can I squeeze in just uh, one more uh, WhatsApp voice note? And this is from Adina. Wow, way to go, Melanie! Trigger. People get triggered about body weight and judgments on their looks uh, nowadays, as much as around the topic of vaccines, or even more. Um, I don't particularly disagree with Melanie. I see a lot of people that dress weird for their body shape and size. It is certainly unappealing. It's a bad look and I get how it makes her feel being health and fitness conscious. Uh, But I actually don't believe that Melanie goes around um, on the streets giving looks uh, or even verbally offending people that she finds badly dressed. And I think that's the difference. She's entitled to have her opinion on this. Uh, it's a very valid opinion, although quite controversial nowadays. Quite is controversial really con- is right. Is it really controversial? Here's yes, it is. Look at the reaction from yeah, people. Okay. Here's people don't approve of what they see as uh, fat shaming. Okay, so... the. But I think people, a lot of people listening probably shared that opinion. But, I mean, they did. You could see some of the messages coming in. We invited them onto the show, and they were like, oh, there's no way uh, uh, there's no way we're going to have you. Uh, or there's no way I'd be, I'd have the guts to go on. And fair play to her for having the guts to go on and um, say what she said. Here's the thing. With social media now, 
And I want to finish up by saying this, mm. Diego. With social media, people put their lives up on social media uh, yeah. in, in a photographic way. And you know that when you put photographs up on your Facebook page, whatever the case may be, that people are going to look at it. And they're going to comment on it to themselves, okay? They're going to say, you know, if you, if you put up your wedding photographs, I'm sure. And I've seen people, I've seen friends of mine, say a mutual friend of ours got married, yeah, mm -hmm. next week, yeah? And she put up her photograph, and you look at the photographs in the room, and some people say, oh, I don't think that dress suited her. Oh, my God, she shouldn't have worn that dress. Oh, his suit wasn't very nice. Oh, the bridesmaids' dresses weren't very nice at all. Everybody does it. But I guess the point you're making is it's different when you keep those opinions yes. to, your, to yourself. yes. 100%. And that's the only point that I've been making. We all have opinions on... Uh, but look, look at the name. Mm. Opinions matter. We all have Unless opinions. You're Melanie. We all have opinions, but some opinions, in, uh, when, when they're hurting people, an opinion that deliberately hurts people is not right. But she didn't go up on the beach and say that to the person. Well, that's just she, as well. Okay, let me find out. Let me, can I ask a simple question? I want to do a very quick poll okay to finish off this conversation mm. okay because okay. i want to yep. try and prove something and this is only i hate to be sexist here but this is only for women okay well, that is sexist in itself okay, but go it on is. anyway because i don't think this this isn't an issue for men so it's for women only i want you to get out your whatsapp now on your phone okay and be completely honest it's anonymous so we won't know who you are get out your whatsapp now and here is a simple question okay if you were going out on a saturday night okay with the girls mm -hmm. okay and your best female friend, you're both getting changed in, in the same house together, okay? So just picture the scene. You're both in the house getting ready to go out on a Saturday night. And your friend, your female friend, your best female friend, put on something that didn't suit her, okay? It didn't fit or it was shown a bit too much belly mm -hmm. or it was maybe two sizes too small. Um, and she asked you the question, how does this look on me? Would you be honest? Simply text. Okay, so if your friend asked you... Um, so she's dressed up for a Saturday well, night. Well, actually, no, this doesn't just apply to women, by the way. It doesn't happen with men. Here, I told you the T-shirt you had on when you came in here was hideous looking. Change it. And I did. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, I yeah. did say that to you when you walked in the door. You take that yoke you off. You T-shirt shamed me. Yes, I did. I said, take that yoke off. It looks awful. So, um, anyway, yes, if a friend asks your opinion on what they're wearing and you're, you're looking at them. And you know, yeah. you know in your heart that it doesn't look well on that person. Will you tell them? Yeah. So just simply um, WhatsApp the word yes or no to 85 825 2626. You can see that phone number just above my head there. 085 825 26. Simple yes or 26. no. That's all we're looking for. A simple yes or no. So your female friends uh, or your male friends, they're wearing something. And you're actually right now that I mentioned it. You regularly comment yeah, on my... regularly, on my, yeah. You haven't seen what I'm wearing on my legs today. Um, <laughs> thank God the camera's above waist. But you you regularly comment on, on what I wear. Yeah, so I if you saw your friend dressed in something that you knew didn't suit her, you knew didn't really fit her, and you knew that people were going to be looking at her on the night out going, what is she wearing? What is she like? Mm -hmm. Would you do the honest thing and Okay, so her? just simply send the word yes or no to that number, 085-825-2626, okay? 085-825-2626. If your friend asked you, uh, is, are my clothes all right? And you thought to yourself, eh, no, not really. Would you tell the truth? That's the question that we want to ask you. Send us a WhatsApp to 085-825-2626 and simply answer Yes or no. Now, Lauren. Would you tell the truth? Lauren has been very honest here. Okay, let's have a listen to this WhatsApp voice note from Lauren. Yes, I would be 100% honest. I would tell her it didn't suit her because I would 100% expect her to be honest with me. If she is my friend and she loves me, she will tell me, uh, look, Lauren, that does not look good in you. Pick something else to wear to make yourself look better. Um, I would expect her to be completely honest with me if she was my friend. And I've always told my friends to be completely honest with me and to tell me if I look like a put on Ray, to tell me if something doesn't look good at me. I want my friends to be honest with me um, and tell me the truth because I will be honest with them. Yeah. Yeah, because I think it's mm. quite cruel that if you if you do let your friend go out um, wearing something that you know they don't look well in, that's kind of cruel, isn't it? That you wouldn't be... And you can be honest in a, in a, in a respectful way. 
Um, but let's just read a, a few more messages. Uh, yes, I would all day long. Uh, I wouldn't be a good friend if I didn't, uh, says John. Uh, another message saying, absolutely no way would I tell the truth. Because what you're risking... So your friend says to you, do I look all right in this? And you reply, oh, no, actually, it's hideous on you. No, you don't. Your friend's not going to be overly happy with you. you. That's what you said to me two hours before we got on But I did, yeah. We went on air. Um, I'm going to burn that T-shirt, by the way. No, there's, there's a way of saying it. You can say... It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean, that doesn't look good. I don't think that suits you. 